Good evening, everyone. My name is Colleen McKinley, and I'm the Director of Educational Partnerships and Programs, which includes the privilege of being the Teacher Track Program Director. It is my sincere pleasure to welcome you to the 2021 Teacher Track Recognition Ceremony, our first one done virtually and live. This evening, we are here to recognize and celebrate our Teacher Track graduates and wish them well as they continue their journey to becoming a teacher. This is Cerritos College's 21st Teacher Track graduating class, and it is my honor to be the first to congratulate you all on both this milestone and for choosing the noble profession of teaching. You have persevered through a pandemic to complete your requirements, and we are so excited to be celebrating with you all this evening. We have many honored guests that are joining us virtually in order to celebrate your success as well. So first from our board of trustees, we have Mariana Pacheco and Marisa Perez. We also have Dr. Jose Fierro, president and superintendent of Cerritos College, who will be welcoming you and providing a message shortly. Rick Miranda, vice president of Cerritos College. Dr. Shireen Pavri, who is the dean of College of Education at Cal State Long Beach. Chris Espinosa, who will be presenting a scholarship this evening. Cynthia Morales, who is a representative from the Office of Congresswoman Lucille Royball Allard. And the success of the Teacher Track program is also due to a lot of um, individuals who are part of our Teacher Track leadership team. So we have with us Dr. Kimberly Rosenfeld, who is our Education Department Chair and Speech Faculty Member. Jeff Bradbury, Chemistry Professor. Francesca Bello, Teacher Track Counselor. Rocio Casillas, Teacher Track Counselor. Dion Gibson, Child Development Professor. Susan Gradine, Child Development Professor. Christina Mulcahy, Career P Pathway Specialist and Teacher Track Fieldwork Coordinator. Angie Beck, Child Development Professor. Tor Lacey, Geology Professor. And one of our very special guests that you will hear from later this evening is elementary teacher and teacher track alum, Bailey Spillane. So thank you again for being here this evening. And it is my pleasure to now introduce our president and superintendent, Dr. Jose Fierro for a special welcome. Thank you, Colleen. And uh, welcome everyone to our annual recognition for our teacher track uh, program. I want to first begin by congratulating all of our graduates. Uh, we say this every year, right? We say that you chose a great profession, that you did an incredible job. And you did. And we'll say it again, you did an incredible job uh, meeting all your requirements for graduation and to transfer. But I do think this year is more special than ever. Not only you completed all your requirements, but you dealt with all the challenges that we face during COVID-19. I know it's not over yet, and many of us are still experiencing some of those challenges and difficulties, but the last year and a half has been incredibly difficult for all of us, and yet, you did what you needed to do to prioritize your education and to be successful. That speaks very well of you. It speaks about your grit, your dedication, your determination, and the commitment that you have to you, to your family, and to the community. When we choose to be educators, we're making a commitment that is greater than ourselves. We're making a commitment to serve and for you to continue your education and enduring what we all were enduring during the COVID, uh, early COVID-19 days especially, shows that you are committed to the future of our communities. Recently, I had the opportunity to, to talk about uh, the importance of teacher track programs, teacher preparation programs at community colleges and, and to me, what it makes these programs special is that these programs prioritize our communities above all. Let me explain what I mean with that. I mean that most of you, most of us are from our local communities. And it means that you graduated maybe from one of our feeder high schools. 
you came to Cerritos College. You did your internship in one of our local schools. You got to know some of our local teachers that are also part of our local community. So essentially, we are together building the future of our community. What is the future of our community looks like? The future of our community looks like every single one of you. The future of our community looks like people who are committed to do better, to be better, and to make our community better. The future of our community looks like the community, which is incredibly important for all of us. When I said it looks like our community, I mean representation. We do know that representation in education is incredibly important. We do know that in order for the next generation to aspire, aspire to be teachers, college presidents, politicians, scientists, Supreme Court justice, they need to know that that is possible. And all of you make that possible for the future generation. So thank you for the commitment. Thank you for the dedication that you have shown over the last year. And before I finish, I would like to uh, thank your family and your friends who are here with us today. And those that are not, but helped you along the way, please do not forget to text them or thank them or anything you do nowadays to ensure that they know you care because clearly they helped you to get here to where you, to get to where you are today. So congratulations class of 2021. We are very proud of you and excited to see how you continue to grow in the future. Thank you, Dr. Fierro. Teacher Track would not be possible without the dedicated staff in the Educational Partnerships and Programs Office. In particular, Monica Castro and Paul Blake, who are providing technical support behind the scenes this evening, and Angie Oliva, who you have communicated frequently with during your time in Teacher Track. We are also fortunate to continue to work with the original Teacher Track director, Sue Parsons, who continues to work tirelessly to support our program even now. And now it's time for our program. Teacher Track graduates, the Teacher Track graduated its first class in 2001, which included 12 students that would become future elementary teachers. This evening, 21 years later, we have four pathways early childhood, elementary, secondary, and career technical education. We work with an incredible network of over 200 TK to 12th grade teachers in ABC Unified, Bellflower Unified, Downey Unified, and Norwalk La Mirada Unified. Tonight, we celebrate 67 graduates. Many of our students have worked full or part-time while attending college. Some are parents balancing home, school, and work. Some are the first in their family to attend college. Some have overcome extreme hardship and adversity to reach their goal, especially in the last year and a half as they per persevered in college during a global pandemic. All of you have worked tremendously hard and we are so very proud of you. Sorry, minor technical difficulty here. At this time, we would like to honor each of our graduates Please enjoy a slideshow highlighting their accomplishments and next steps on their journey to becoming a teacher.
It is incredible to see our graduates' faces and next steps in their future. As Dr. Fierro said, we are building our community's future classrooms right now. Thank you graduates for supplying the information for the slides. And again, thank you, Paul Blake, for compiling all the pictures and sentiments into the slideshow. The slides will be posted on our teacher track website and a collage of all of our graduates will be proudly displayed at the top of our website for the next year. We'll also have a recording of the ceremony on our uh, website in a week or so. Traditionally, at this time, we would have had um, our students come across the stage and present them with a golden apple given by the program to remind each of you of your accomplishments. We will be distributing these apples along with special certificates of recognition on May 21st from 4 to 6 p.m. via drive through at a at Cerritos College. Graduates, keep an eye on your email because we will be in touch with the details, but please mark your calendars now. We hope that these apples will be proudly displayed in your future classrooms. At this time, we will be presenting our teacher track scholarships. We had many worthy students who applied this year. The students receiving awards do not know that they have been selected. We have the fortune of giving out nine scholarships, totaling $11,000 this evening. Students, if you have been selected for a scholarship, we will be in touch soon via email about next steps. The first award this evening is the Esther Espinosa Scholarship. It was established by the Espinosa family in memory of their mother and grandmother, a longtime educator in the Norwalk La Mirada Unified School District. We are grateful that the Espinosa family honors Esther's memory by annually awarding a scholarship. This year, the amount is $1,000. Here this evening to present the award is Chris Espinosa, Esther's son. Okay, let's see if I get this right. So this is one thing I've never been able to do when I've been presenting. This is Esther Espinosa. 35 years in the Norwalk La Mirada School District, pioneer in the ESL in the classroom, um, loved her job, loved a lot of things. So there you go. Um, so it's only fitting that the Esp Esther Espinosa Scholarship will be awarded to a student who attended the school district, a school in the districts that she taught in. The student has been pre preparing to be a teacher since high school interning in elementary classrooms during her junior and senior years. She wants to be a teacher to make a difference for students and help them grow academically by being an adult they can look up to. She shared that it brings her joy to see her students' happy faces when they accomplish something they struggle with. Despite many personal challenges along the way, she has persevered and is earning multiple associate degrees at Cerritos College. She will continue as a a liberal, a liberal studies major at CSULB in, in the fall. Please join me in congratulating Aliana Rivera, the recipient of the Esther Espinosa Scholarship. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. That was awesome. And congratulations, Aliana. This year, we'll be awarding a special secondary scholarship from the teacher track program to a student pursuing teaching high school. Professor Jeff Bradbury will present, be presenting this award. Good evening. My name is uh, Jeff Bradbury, and I teach chemistry here at Cerritos College, and I'm on the teacher track leadership team. <clears throat> it always excites me that to meet um, a teacher track student that wants to teach secondary, especially high school. I taught high school chemistry for 11 years at Warren High School in Downey, where I actually went. So <clears throat> it is an honor to present the Secondary Scholarship Award. This student came to the United States when she was 12 years old and only knew basic English. Starting school in the US and middle school was tough, but she excelled and is now transferring to Cal State Long Beach to pursue a degree in linguistics so she can teach English and Spanish. Her inspiration is her mother, who was a kindergarten teacher. 
the professor who wrote her letter of recommendation said that she is in the top 1% of, of his students. She is organized, creative, and hardworking. The difficulty she endured in her childhood will strengthen her ability to teach. Please join me in congratulating Yvonne Camacho. Congratulations, Yvonne, and thank you, Jeff. So graduates, your motivation, dedication, and resilience have inspired many individuals. 15 years ago, Mrs. Jill Colbath and Dr. Kent Colbath, retired earth science professor and member of the teacher track leadership team, announced that they started a teacher track fund to be used annually for scholarships, and the Eridicio scholarship was established. Eridicio means the quality of having or showing great knowledge or learning, scholarship. This is very fitting for the five individuals who will be receiving $1,000 this evening. It is my pleasure to ask members of our leadership team to present the 2021 Eridicio Scholarship Awards. Our first presenter is Dion Gibson. Our first scholarship recipient of the evening did not initially think he was interested in the field of teaching, but then he had an opportunity to work with an incredible group of kindergartners during calendar time, and he immediately was hooked. What motivates him the most is the laughter, joy, and quality interaction shared between him and the children. His mission is to make a difference in all children's lives and show them that they could be anything they want to be, even when making mistakes or facing life's challenges. As a child development and elementary education major, he has excelled in academic coursework and is graduating with highest honors. He will be attending California State University Long Beach in the fall. Please join me in congratulating Joshua Alvarez, our first recipient of the Iriducio Scholarship. Good evening, everybody. The next scholarship recipient has dreamed of being a teacher for 20 years. Returning to Cerritos College after becoming a mother of two, she was inspired by observing a dynamic teacher during her EDEL 100 fieldwork class. She has persevered through many obstacles and will use these challenges to help her influence the next generation in her future classroom. Her faculty letter of recommendation said, Three words that come to mind when she thinks of Andrea are hardworking, professional, and insightful. She works full-time in a local school district and will be transferring in the fall to CSULB. Please join me in congratulating Andrea Barola, our second recipient of the Erudicio Scholarship. Congratulations, Andrea. Good evening, everyone. Uh, the third Eridicio scholarship recipient knew he wanted to be a teacher when he was in high school. And his AP Spanish teacher gave the students the opportunity to teach Spanish to a group of elementary students. The lesson planning, interaction with the kids and reflection after reinforced that teaching is the career for him. In his application, he says that once he becomes a teacher, he will show passion, dedication, and respect to his students, parents, and staff as they work together to improve the community by supporting each other. At Cerritos College, this student has been incredibly active in ASCC, holding leadership positions in several clubs, student senate, and an active member of the student programming board. This semester, he participated in the Falcon Leadership Institute offered through the activities department to help students develop and enhance their leadership skills. His scholarship letter of recommendation described him as an amazing student leader. He will be heading to CSULB in the fall. Please join me in congratulating Jerry Ramos, our third recipient of the Aerodicio Scholarship. Congratulations.
Good evening, everyone. The fourth recipient of the Eruditio Scholarship has kept the why she wants to be a teacher her focus throughout her time at Cerritos College. Her why is children. She shared that she loves being around them because they bring out the best in her and she can't wait to be able to have her own classroom where she can care for each and every child and make an impact in their lives. She loves to see the light turn on when she helps a student struggling with something and her recommendation letter described her as a natural born leader, caring, attentive, and driven. She has displayed a great deal of grit and endurance in these unprecedented times, and we are confident she will continue her success at Cal State University Long Beach in the fall. Congratulations, Anissa Oveda. Good evening. The final recipient of the Eruditio Scholarship has always desired to engage with students, both in and outside the classroom. He believes we must better equip minority children and the schools they attend, fixing the system from the inside out. Through Teacher Track, he learned the importance of diversity and how to navigate and adjust curriculum to celebrate all. Even with fieldwork needing to be conducted virtually, he made an impression on the fourth grade class he was assigned to, and his mentor said that rather than teaching to students, he taught with students, working in partnership to embrace their voice and thinking. He is heading to Cal State Long Beach in the fall to continue his journey to become a teacher. Congratulations, Darian King, for being selected for our final Eruditio Scholarship. The Teacher Track program is also awarding a scholarship to a student pursuing a career in special education. I have the honor tonight to present this scholarship. The student receiving this honor was recommended by her high school teacher to assist in a classroom serving individuals with moderate to severe disabilities. She grew to love this setting. After starting college, she applied to be an instructional aide and worked in the same classroom she helped in as a high school student. She will be transferring to Cal State Dominguez Hills in the fall and will, per, will pursue a moderate severe credential. Her letter of recommendation describes a woman who is inquisitive, hardworking, professional, and committed. I have been fortunate to know her as I was also her high school principal. Please join me in congratulating Teresa Long. We have one more scholarship this evening. And I want to give you a little bit of background about it. In the spring of 1999, Dr. Fred Gaskin, Cerritos College President, and Dr. Robert Maxson, President of Cal State Long Beach, formally began a partnership that launched Teacher Track. When Dr. Gaskin left Cerritos College, many community members and college colleagues wanted to give him a gift. He insisted that in lieu of gifts, money could be donated to our foundation to begin a Teacher Track annual scholarship. Dr. Gaskin has continued to be a generous supporter of the Teacher Track program, allowing us to not only continue this annual award, but provide other supports as well. We are honored today to have the Fred Gaskin Scholarship presented by Bailey Spillane, Teacher Track alumnus, who was the 2017 Gaskin recipient. Good evening. This year's recipient of the Fred Gaskin Scholarship did not have positive early schooling experiences, which is the primary reason why he wants to be a teacher and reach students who are not receiving the education and care they deserve. Fieldwork experiences at Cerritos College taught him that even the worst behaved classroom deserves the best effort from teachers. Fieldwork during the pandemic reinforced that even when times change due to unforeseeable circumstances, teachers can go above and beyond to provide quality education to every child. This student scholarship essay truly conveyed a long time teacher, teacher track adage that quote, teachers touch the future. He expressed that he wants to leave a legacy of strong-minded, determined and hardworking students who will remember the encouragement and care that he gave them and use it to make the world a better place. He has maintained an impressive 4.0 GPA 
and is headed to CSULB in the fall. I am proud to present the 2021 Fred Gaskin Scholarship to David Domenico. Congratulations, David. Way to go. Yes, congratulations, David. And um, I'm also uh, excited to announce that the College of Education at Cal State Long Beach is graciously, graciously adding $1,000 to the Gaskin Scholarship. So David will receive $3,000 in total. And here this evening to provide remarks and also recognize David is Dr. Shireen Pavri, Dean of the College of Education and longtime partner of the Teacher Track Program. Good evening, Teacher Track graduates. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students at Cal State Long Beach, my warm congratulations to each of you. You did it. And you did it under some really difficult circumstances indeed. Um, congratulations to all the scholarship recipients and a particular special congratulations to David Del Medico, our Fred Gaskin Award recipient. I look forward to welcoming you to the beach so do come by and say hello, in person, I hope, soon. Teacher Track graduates, you have received such an excellent education at Cerritos College, and you are now ready for the next chapter in your education journey. I'm really excited that so many of you will be joining us at Cal State Long Beach, and some of you at other sister CSU campuses this fall. Over the past 21 years, our two institutions, Cal State Long Beach and Cerritos College, have collaborated closely to make sure that you make a smooth transition to Cal State Long Beach. Our faculty and counselors are in regular contact to align our curriculum and develop clear advising pathways to undergraduate degree and teacher credential programs at the beach. You and your family should be so proud of all of your accomplishments. I'm so impressed by all of you. I greatly enjoyed reading your slides and things that you're really looking forward to and thankful for. Um, as future teachers, you are going to have a powerful impact on the lives of thousands of young people and their families across the state. So once again, congratulations, Teacher Track, and go Beach. Thank you so much, Dr. Pavri, for joining us this evening. And we appreciate the partnership so very much. So at this time, I am thrilled to reintroduce Bailey Spillane, Teacher Track graduate, class of 2017. Bailey has an amazing story to share with you this evening and will be providing closing remarks for our ceremony. She currently is a full-time teacher teaching art from transitional kindergarten to eighth grade students. Bailey, thank you so much for being here this evening to speak with our graduates. Of course, thank you for having me. Um, so in, on 8-11-12, I was in a severe car accident where the car, where I was in the car and the driver had fallen asleep behind the wheel, resulting in an accident, which severed my spine, fractured several ribs, punctured lungs, and I lost a lot of blood among a variety of other things. Rushing to the hospital after 14 hours of surgery, my mom was the one to come into the hospital room and let me know that I would never be able to walk again. With that being said, she gave me five minutes to process the information, and then we were heading over to physical therapy because that was not going to stop me or deter me from reaching any and all goals in life. After years of physical therapy and getting back into it, I tagged along with my brother to Cerritos College as a step towards trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. The retired lifestyle just simply wasn't for me. Um, so Cerritos College really opened my eyes to a wonderful world that really embraced who I was trying to figure out how to live my life from my wheelchair and having to be able to, you know, just get a new lease on life was more difficult than I had ever imagined, but also rewarding beyond anything I could have ever grasped. So I decided to enter the teacher track program and I made friends 
that I still have today. I actually work with someone that I graduated with from Teacher Track. After graduating Teacher Track with my AA and my AAT, I went on to go to Cal State Long Beach, go beach, go teach. Um, for where from there I was the first international student to study abroad with any type of handicap. I studied abroad for six months in Australia and it was life changing. I've had this constant struggle of trying to figure out where I fit in after the accident, how I fit in and balancing that type of life. And I try to make the best of all obstacles. Now, I'm not saying that my struggles are your struggles or that we should be comparing hardships because everybody goes through something that's so hard. Getting this far in your teacher track and your Cerritos College life is already an impressive task that you should be able to pat yourself on the back for. Being able to transfer to a four-year university seems easy, but it's simply not. And after graduating from Cal State Long Beach and doing everything and all I possibly could to really make that a momentous occasion, I did get my very first teaching job. And let me tell you, that is also not without its struggles. Um, kids are so inherently genuine and kind that they don't even ask me about my wheelchair or my disability like adults would, right? Um, usually their first question falls along the lines of what's your favorite color? And it's something that we all grow to appreciate and which is why we chose this career path for ourselves. Every day is <laughs> Every day, especially now after a pandemic, has its ups and downs, of course, but you need to remember, you did this, you tried, you succeeded, and there's nothing more to be more proud about. We all have the ability to do what we set our mind to. Through blood, sweat, and tears, we can achieve any and all dreams. I just wanted to let you know that even on your hardest days, or the days that you seem to be struggling, or the days that you feel like, you know what, maybe this isn't worth it, that you are somebody's favorite teacher, no matter what. And I think that that idea, as long as you hold on to that, you'll be successful. And if you ever need anything, you always have your friends and family. And these friends that you are making now, you will have for the rest of your lives. I'm so proud of each and every one of you, even though I was not there with you. I understand your struggles and I am just beyond proud. And so are your family members and the staff at Cerritos. And once again, my friends, go beach, go teach and congratulations. Thank you, Bailey. Your story is inspiring and we are so proud of you as one of our distinguished alumni. It is amazing that our students who are transferring were able to hear from you this evening. Thank you for, for taking time out of your extremely busy schedule, teaching students at almost every grade level, TK to eighth grade. You are amazing and reminded me tonight about how incredible it is to be a teacher. So this marks the end of our recognition ceremony. Teacher Track students, I want to once again recognize you for your hard work and thank you for allowing us to assist you in the beginning of your journey to becoming a teacher. I have been in education for almost 30 years now and I continue to be inspired by you and how you will inspire our next generation. The ceremony recording will soon be available on our Teacher Track website to share with friends and family. Thank you to all of my colleagues who helped to make this special night happen. Teacher Track students, good luck on your finals and please keep in touch. Even as you journey on toward your pursuit of your own classroom, Teacher Track is always here to support you. Have a great evening, everyone.